rate 10. Rate 10 is a combination of the rate levels rate 1 and rate 0. Hence, it is one of the nested configurations which combines two or more basic rate levels. As we know, rate 1 uses mirroring in which the data is written to two or more disks at the same time and rate 0 uses striping in which data is broken into chunks and written successively to different disks. Rate 10 is actually rate 10 in which the data is mirrored and then striped. If we divide this into three groups, we can see that within each group there is a rate 1 level with mirroring and between the groups there is a rate 0 level with striping. Within each group the data is duplicated and between the group the data is striped. Thus mirrored and then striped hence rate 10 or rate 10. So what about the performance? First consider the read performance. Here we are using block level striping and mirroring too. As we have discussed in the introduction part, both of these enables parallelism in read operation, thereby improving read performance. For example, suppose we have the read request for blocks A, B, C, D, E and F. With mirroring and striping, disk 1 can service the request for block A and parallelly disk 3 can service the request for block B, disk 5 can service the request for block C and disk 2 can service the request for block D, disk 4 can service the request for block E and disk 6 can service block F's request. Thus everything can be executed in a parallel fashion. Thus multiple requests can be serviced simultaneously or this level shows good performance for random requests at different portions of the logical disk. Thus there is improved read performance. And what about the write performance? Even though mirroring includes an overhead of writing to more than one disk at the same time, since striping is also used, it helps in parallel writes. Hence, write performance can also be improved in this level. And what about redundancy? It provides good level of redundancy. It protects the data from single drive failure. Even if one disk fails, until the failed disk is replaced and the data is rebuilt, the mirror takes over the responsibility and the data is accessible from the mirror disk. And here for 6 disks, even if 3 disks fail such as this, the system will still be functional with their mirror disk. Only if both the disks in the same mirror group fails, our data is lost. And in case of failure, data rebuilding is easier in RAID 10 compared to RAID 5, 4, 3 and 2. Just need to copy the data from the surviving mirror to the new disk which is replaced. No need of any calculations as in parity or Hamming card. And about the disk capacity, here about the disk capacity, the usable disk capacity will be reduced to 50% since everything is duplicated. For example, here suppose each disk is of 1 terabyte size, then out of the 6 terabytes only 3 TB will be available for the data remaining for the redundant information. And since striping requires minimum 2 disks and, for, and mirroring requires minimum 2 disks, the minimum number of disks required for rate 10 is 4.